friends. Welcome to me today, Lisa Marvin Art. Um, I'm gonna do something fun today. I was a little nervous. So uh, I had a contest a couple months ago to help me th reach 30K on YouTube, which you guys helped me do. And um, we had a winner, so I did, I think there was 13 winners. So I did one main winner where they get a custom piece for me and then 12 other winners from all over the globe. And I sent them art. It was so fun. Um, I definitely want to do another one. However, Ellen Wagner won. And Ellen Wagner chose a, the prize was a 12 inch round or square. She wants a double bloomy, which is great. However, so she gave me pictures of the colors that she wanted to match her house. I will pop them in now. And you can see the colors are not my normal wheelhouse, okay? They are warm, they are fall, they are reds and oranges and all the things that make me nervous because I don't do them often. However, so I color matched and look how they dried. How pretty is this already? This is like just a sunset. So I definitely have to do some sort of something with these. Let's discuss what I've done. Uh, I'm, I love these colors. Like this is a great tile. <laughs> okay, so I we're gonna start off and I, I chose Deco Art 24 karat gold because it dries very yellow. Now, the ultimate color for this would have been Conacredo nickel as a gold, which some people love. I do not love. It's like kind of like a yellow baby poop. I'll show you actually. And it's so funny because so they discontinued it, which is fine because you can make your own mixing two other colors. But um, and I just saw I had a bottle left and then I couldn't even find it. Anyways, see this like yellowy that's Nicolazzo. Wouldn't that have worked nicely? But I couldn't find it. Which is fine, so I decided anyways to use the 24 karat gold because when it dries, um, it changes color a little bit and gets more yellow. So I thought that would be a good choice. Now in the picture, within these warm colors, there was like dots of this like light teal. So what I did, and I'm not going to use too much of it because I just want speckles of it. Um, I took cobalt turquoise, which I love this color, and it was quite dark, so I just added some zinc white to lighten it to the tone um, that kind of looked like in the picture. Then, piggy-wise, I have Horizon, okay, and Maraschino, right? Um, let me show you. Horizon, Maraschino, right? Just whatever. Now, the violet, what I wanted to use, and I couldn't find it either, which is funny. You could use Triart Quiller Violet. It's a really, although it is quite a little more blue, but I found this violet because um, I wanted a cool violet. This is just called <coughs> Laser Violet Schminky. But any violet will do just as long as it's a bit cool because you can see... Um, this is looking very nice with that. Okay. Then I have Grenache, a little bit more red, TLP Grenache. Pretty. And then another red I rarely use, uh, but I thought it would go. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of sick, but allergy season, you know. Alizarin Crimson, right? So I think <clears throat> I did a pretty good job. I want to figure something else to do. So we're going to do double bloomies. Now I have a lot of decisions to make. Am I making them both the same? Um, what's happening? I didn't even prepare my pillow paint. Let's discuss. Let's see what I got here. So, you know, lately, I have a white. I've been using um, 
color to go white, but I've just been thinning it with water. I don't think this is white and I'm not gonna try to open it. Oh, please, I have a few different ones here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use a white, thin it with water. This look, oh no, this is a blue. Uh, all right, let me, why don't I do that? Oh my God, I have so many funny colors, like pretty ones, but why don't I do that? And then um, we'll get back to actually doing and figuring out what we're doing. Be right back. You guys, I just tried, I think six times to do it. <clears throat> I'll show you like little snippets of the end because I'm not gonna put you through that. First of all, like I didn't even wear an apron because I'm like, I could just blow this out real quick. I'm not even gonna get dirty, wrong. Okay, let's discuss all the problemos. My, okay, first of all, centrifuge for me is always an enemy for double blooms because you know like my brain has a very hard time with wonky cells. I know some people don't mind it. I, I just can't do it. So automatically when you have two blooms on either side and things are spinning out from the middle, these parts are gonna go like that and then like the middle where there's no bloom is gonna look ugly and then that's why people like schmooze it and do the things i just I was not into it now i've done double blooms before for them to work everything has to be perfect so i tried a thinner pillow paint no that was too much i tried a thicker pillow paint no i tried a lot of color a little color so i think today my paints just don't like the consistency of my pillow paint um i do find that you know, having to doctor the white ones are harder. So I decided I'm going to my good old deep base, ultra deep base color to go. And since we're doing like sunsetty colors, kind of, this is kind of like smoky. I use this in my last um, video, which I love. It's mesmerized. So you're not gonna see too much of it, but at least whatever. And at least I know the consistency is good. Now also the consistencies of my paints could be super off too. All right, now number three, I'm gonna, my poor saw activator, I'm gonna thin up my saw activator. Like, oh my God, today is not the day. But that's okay, we're gonna keep going. And you know what, sometimes, although I do wanna get this done today, um, sometimes you just gotta say, okay, paint gods, you know? You don't want, you don't want me to paint today? Fine, you win. But then I was gonna say no, they, you can't let them win, you know? You've gotta, anyways, I'm just talking to myself at this point. Okay, so we've thinned this out. So the plan, oh, the plan, are we too thin now? I don't even know what's happening with this cell activator anymore. Should I make a new one? Um, the plan, <coughs> excuse me, is to also, <clears throat> I'm having all these allergies and I've just had to blow out a thousand times. I think I'm dying. It's fine. Um, little color, I don't know, let's see. Okay, here's try number one. You can see it's like very rectangular and ugly. Here's try number two, not bad, not perfect, a little bigger than I wanted because I thinned my pillow. Here, I really thinned my pillow, and you can see that was just a hot mess. So thinner pillow, not always good for this. And then we have, oh, look, it's all like melted and oh, so confused. Again, too much paint, thin pillow, all right? Then we have this try. I tried to do a singular bloom. It was fine. I just wasn't getting the vibe. It wasn't great. Then we have... These little guys that are also like, oh, they look melty and very sickly. Finally, I said, I'm going to do a swipe. And you know what? I don't hate this vibe. I didn't execute it perfectly, but definitely something I want to try again. But it wasn't really showcasing the colors. So let's see what I finally did. Okay, guys, it's a brand new day. We got this. Okay. I'm actually going to do a bloom vine. Okay. Keep it simple. Um, so, oops, there's like lots of yuckies in here. I'm going to, this is a bit, you know, this is a bit thick, but we are going to, yeah, spin it out a bit. 
Isn't it funny how much problems I'm having? I do think it's because of this pillow paint, to be honest. Not like I'm blaming the pillow paint and not myself, but. Okay. And I'm just gonna, because I don't wanna have to spin it out too much, okay? So, this is a good coverage. Then, I'm gonna put a bit more um, where I'm gonna do the bloom vine, okay? So, let's hope there's not yuckies in there. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe we'll do like two. Let's see, yeah. Okay, do I even need? I'm gonna keep it really minimal, so <coughs> I'm not even gonna pour this out. I'm gonna like, just go like this, okay? Just like that. So I'm also layering totally different. Um, I'm gonna start, um, I don't know if I wanna, so I was gonna start with this piggy. Now normally I always start with piggies, but this is a neon. So it might actually flocculate on the white, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna start with the crimson, okay? And I'm, I'll put the rad on top. Is this rad? I think it's rad. Okay. Then we'll go horizon. Now I've thinned down my pillow paint with water, but you know, we don't know if that's gonna help us or not. And for the um, teal, I'm just gonna do, oh, well, I was gonna dot it, but why don't we do that there? Okay. Then I'll do Grenache. Right. Then I'll do the Violet. I'll start down here. And I'm actually topping it with the 24 karat gold, which I used to do all the time. Actually, hmm, maybe I should use a dark cell activator, but I don't know. I don't think I have one. Hmm. Because hmm. that will give it, no, I don't. So if I use a dark cell activator, I'll get really popping cells, but I think I want to keep it lacy, not celly. All right, are you ready? Can you guys cross your fingers for me? Okay, my white cell activator. I'll start blowing out this one. And yeah, okay, here we go. It's a good start, pretty. I'll start a bit down here like that. Okay, this is actually pretty so far. And a little bit left. Now you can see there's a bit pillow coming up, but I don't care too much. This is very pretty. And that's just because it's a thin layer. Um, why don't I do a close up? So you can see Pretty cells. Oops, there you go. And I just want to show you the sparkle. So you can see. All right, let's see what happens. All right, I'm not going to <coughs> uh, skewer it just yet. Um, I want her to spin nice. So let's hope she spins nice. Right? There's not much to spin off. Let me get 
Oh, let me get a new skewer. Get those boot lays. Um, goo blaze. Here's one. Okay. Here's another. Here's another. The sparkle, I'm very happy with. Oh. Elliot talking to sneakers. Okay. So, you know, I, I don't even need to screw that much. I'm actually really pleased with it. Um, okay, let's see how much I do have to spin that because I don't want her to start. Okay, it's moving a little bit in the middle, but like, it's really cute, right? Um, let me just spin her around a little bit. Let me fix this little thing here. Let me fix this little thing there. Um, yeah. You know what, guys? I, I think this is the one. So that goes to show you. <coughs> Sorry. Sometimes you just got to walk away for the day and get a whole new attitude of gratitude. <laughs> okay. Um, how are we doing? Oh, there's a boo play. Well, I hope this was worth it for you guys. The middle is still moving a little. Um, and I don't want to have to spin it out too much more, but I might have to, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm pretty pleased. So, so there. Uh, I do like these colors. I obviously like the sparkle. Yeah, I think we're good. Hopefully. <laughs> um, there's just like little things here and there, but. Okay, I'm gonna do a close up, guys. Thank you so much. Hold on, I'm just dipping my tip a little bit thank you so much for sticking around for this one this was like so frustrating um but it actually made me have um like a kind of epiphany that sometimes and i posted this on my page but sometimes you have to pay your creative tax meaning you have to have a few fails to be able to get something good um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to do a close-up. Let me know what you think. Bye.